I'm here with Nasser Saleh of Matfuatkum, a an e payment, uh, an online billing and payment system. Nasser, how are you? Fine, thank you. Good. And so, what was the gap that you saw in the market when you created Matfuatkum? First of all, thank you for this interview. Uh, actually, I came back to Jordan in 2008, mid of 2008. I was living outside. Uh, the first thing I faced was paying my uh, monthly bills. Utility bills, telecom bills, my kids' uh, school uh, fees. So I figured out that every time I have to go to the branch, I pay it by cash and physically, which was time and it's inconvenience. So that was really the pain that I faced. Uh, and since I saw it in other countries working fine, pay online, uh, so I started this idea from 2008, but I did not find the right support in terms of mentoring and terms of even of capital. Uh, Investment. Uh, so I started that idea lately with Oasis 500, now 2011, four months ago, and we are building a model to have the national payment, e-payment system for Jordan, and then to take it to the region, to other countries. And how, how did you create this solution? Actually, since I have already experience in working with similar projects outside Jordan, uh, we partnership with a technology partner. Uh, and we brought, uh, we bought the engine, and now we are building uh, the interfaces to connect banks with billers, so that we enable citizens to pay through any banking channel, ATM, online banking, uh, call center. So we have the know-how. We have a very good team here in Jordan, and you know Jordan is very famous with IT resources. So we combine all this, the know-how and the IT resources, and we built a very strong system. Uh, currently, this similar system is working in Saudi Arabia efficiently. So I sign on to your site, and I connect up my bills, and then I pay through the bank, but then I can manage my payments through your site? Actually, this is phase two, but thank, thank you for mentioning that. In phase one, what we are offering is that uh, you can pay through your banking channel. Let's say you are a customer for one of the banks here in Jordan. You can pay through the ATM, the online banking, the call center, immediately online on a real-time basis. Now, in, in phase two, what we'll offer, we'll offer that you can pay through our website, especially if you are living abroad and you want to pay your uh, utility bills in Jordan, so you can pay it remotely, even without having a banking account in Jordan. Sounds very useful. Um, what were your biggest challenges? Great. My biggest challenges were first of all to find the, the support. Uh, now, support means uh, financial support, uh, business support, and the business support is even more important. Uh, also, when I started now, one of the most uh, challenges was really to convince banks and billers to use that service. Uh, for an entrepreneur here in Jordan and maybe in the whole Middle East, it's always difficult as a person to convince corporates and institutions with, the, with your product. Uh, I was lucky enough, thanks to God, that I was partnered with Oasis 500. I already went through their process and they uh, invested in me. So after that, institutions and banks started to deal with me like an institution because now I have more credibility. Yes, the idea is already a successful idea and it's tested somewhere else, but now with an Oasis 500 partnering with me, those challenges are now part of the history. But this is, I think, one of the most challenges I faced to have the business support and to connect uh, and to convince the institutions to work with me. I see. So you've convinced the institutions. Do you ever have trouble getting um, gaining customers' trust? Uh, no, since uh, this service is really uh, about connecting banks to billers, so it's B2B, uh, the bank will take the responsibility of convincing the customers to, to use our service. So our main challenge was to convince the banks and the billers. Now, the customers themselves, they have that pain, and they are searching really for a better and efficient ways to pay their monthly bills. And this is something we already know, and that's why the banks are really very interested now to use our service. So our main customers are the banks and billers, and already they are convinced, so they will convince their customers. We saw that same thing happen in Saudi Arabia. When we started that service, uh, within less than two years, more than 80% to 90% of the customers started to use the online service. So it's about changing the culture. I see, and have you, were you nervous, have you ever been nervous to start up a new company as an entrepreneur? Sure, sure. I admit that. Actually, like I told you, from 2008, and I was trying to do that, and 
many times I was about just to do it, and then I hesitated to start. Uh, just four months ago, I just started it, so now I had the courage to really do it, especially when I had that really support when I talk about from Oasis. So was it just Oasis 500 that helped you get over your fear? How, what do you think entrepreneurs need to get over their fear? Actually, I'll be honest, uh, I already uh, overcome my fear before Oasis 500. But uh, I was also more practical. I know that if you want to have a very good business, you need some support. And I'm not talking about financial support. You need some uh, mentoring, some uh, networking, you know, somebody. Uh, you need the credibility. In our uh, culture here, credibility is very important. Uh, most of the investors will not invest in you as a person. They want to see an institution behind you. And this is something really... Uh, I found it, this is 500. But the fear I already maybe overcome it one year ago. I see. Yeah. Well, Mabruk. Um, thank you. Thanks for sharing your thoughts with Wanda. Thank you. Thanks a lot for you. Appreciate it.